Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanted to know, because just like you said, the only thing you took out of um, the old you is the drug game. Yeah. But in everything that you knew back then of how to do things and what you were doing, how much of that do you use in today's society? All of it. All of it. The only part I don't do to is be I, successful. I just don't sell cocaine no more. That's it. Weed, books. I, you know, when I first started selling my book, they said, man, you can't sell books like you sold. Uh, uh, yes, you can. Like you <laughs> sold cocaine. Because I'd be in front of the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? 11, 12 o'clock at night, I'm sitting in front of the supermarket. Hey, man, this is my book. It just came out. You ought to read this book. Great book. And some people would buy it. To wow. me, I feel like it's a, it's a drive. It's a drive. When, it, when you go out here and hustle whatever that you love, and when I say hustle, if you have a passion for it, because nobody's going to go out here and do it like you will, because it's yours. They shouldn't. And that's how I look Why at it. Why should they do it for you? Some people will, because you pay them. But they're not going to do it like you could do it. Right. Because even we're running our business, um, we have a boutique. And we've had multiple, we've had up to seven. And one thing I used to hate about it is the fact that whenever I would hire people and teach them exactly to do what I do and leave them in the different locations, when customers came in, they're looking for me. No matter what, they're yeah. looking for me. No matter how much I train them to be me, so to right. say, right. they're coming wherever I'm, I am. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Ugh. You well, can't be well people don't have the confidence that you have. Sometimes <laughs> people are afraid. People are afraid to fail. You know, you know, you know, uh, what book was that I was reading? Uh, it was talking about the, the power of fear, the power of love, the power of unknown. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and these are powerful fears. Right. You know, these are things that really affect people's lives. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't want people to know that I tried that and I didn't make it. You mm -hmm. know, uh, um, it makes you make the wrong decision sometimes because you're scared to make the wrong decision. And then your family tell you, "Boy, you can't do that." Right. Everybody in the family. Yeah, you you, you can't do that. You, how you gonna do that? And I wasn't able to do it. And that's usually exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what they that's say. Exactly what they say. <laughs> so so you know you you have to build it up in yourself to where you're confident in yourself that. No matter what everybody else is saying, that I'm gonna do what I feel I should be doing. Mm -hmm. I really was a drug dealer, not because I wanted to be a drug dealer. If somebody would have told me a couple of weeks before I started selling cocaine, I was gonna be a cocaine dealer, I would have laughed. So wow. I would have been on the floor rolling over, that, like <laughs> you're the dumbest man in the whole world. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just like if somebody would have told me when I was in jail, I was gonna be a weed dealer. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, you gonna get out? You are gonna be selling weed? Because I didn't even know weed was legal in California. Really? You didn't? I'm in jail in Texas. I'm in jail in Texas, <laughs> Texas, Texas. Canada, Texas. That's what that's So what I don't in. know what's going on. I'm not getting L.A. newspapers right. no more. I'm getting, you know, the Texas, 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 Texas paper. paper. And, you know, Texas by Texas 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 Canada, and you know, <laughs> um, this is the stuff. And, and see, you only know what you're fed. Right. So how long was you in Texas, Canada? I did five, five, five and five. a half years. Five, yeah, right almost there. Almost six Texas. years in Texarkana. Mm. So you ain't you when you go like to Houston now, you've never went back down to Tyler and nothing like that ever. Go back to Tyler? Yeah. You do? I got family in Tyler. I, I know I, I you was young when you left. I thought they might have moved away, but they still there. Oh no, we they ain't gonna never, my, my, my grandfather <laughs> had, <laughs> My grandfather had twenty four kids. Wow. Mine, yeah, mine had nineteen. So I got I got family in Houston, Dallas. You have a huge family. Uh, Tyler, Fort Worth. And you keep in contact with all of them. No, I don't. No, we <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. But when you was in Texas County, they come people call you? me. They can call me. I answer my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got, I got 14,000 numbers in my phone. Wow, you like Mike Jones. You mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so, let everybody so really, number. I don't really call people. You know, if, if I call you, it's a rarity. Mm. You know, I only call a very, very, very few people very that selective. I pick up the phone and call. Uh, without them initiating the call. Okay. Because I don't want to talk to people. I, I don't know. Let me, I, if I say that, people are going to think something. They're going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> they might be mad. If we're not talking about something. Right. I don't want to talk to you. I got you. You know, I don't want to know about the weather. They don't, you don't want to shoot the breeze. I ain't got time to shoot the breeze. Mm -hmm. You know, I shot the breeze for 20 years in, in the penitentiary. <laughs> 
Yeah, even in there though, I didn't really like shooting the breeze. Right. You know, I, yeah. I, I kept you're too busy reading, trying too, to too busy gain reading. knowledge. Oh, he played sports too, according to Pop Johnson. So yeah, yeah. he worked like, him up on I that. I played their basketball. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Like, but you didn't what? play tennis. They didn't have tennis in there. Yeah, we played tennis. You, what? And I'm the one got. I got the tennis courts taken out. <laughs> no. I started teaching all them black boys how to hit a tennis ball. And, and they didn't, they didn't like, like that. that. No, they took them tennis courts out. <laughs> wow. By the year I thought I was there. I had a, I, and I taught I taught so many dudes how to play tennis. It's funny how when wow. you when you go into a place like he, like that, like we go into, leadership shows up and it's it's acknowledged. They don't even have to tell nobody nothing. It just happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, a leader is a leader. Yeah. You know, you can't. And you're a natural leader, especially yeah. because of what you were doing. You had to, you were the leader. But yeah. could you see leadership before that when you was young? My mom said I always see? was the head leader. Mm. Yeah. And when I was, we was kids. She, she with my brother. She with me too. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 